pause. Oh, right, pause. Uh, yeah, so, okay, pause. All good. Let's do this. Here we go. The first match of the best of nine in the World Series round two. Shea versus Size. And here we go. Ooh, are you excited? Here we have Shea in the blue as infantry general. And he's going to be taking it up against Size. The almighty big Size here in the orange as a laser. And let's see what is going to happen. I hope we're going to see some funky stuff coming here from uh, the infantry general. I hope we're going to see like a barracks being put down, uh, like nice and forward. Okay, over here. I was hoping a little more forward, but uh, this is okay. And uh, probably what Shay's going to do is he's going to try and get some of these buildings right here in the middle because that will help him with the map control, the vision. He can see what's coming and size going for a very nice, very standard dual supply, uh, which probably a good thing to do. You don't want to go no eco against an infantry. That's that's really risky. And uh, let's see. We got Shea moving to the right here. Now also getting a second supply. Supply placement could be a bit better, I think. There's quite a gap here. Um, so I don't think the trucks will be collecting optimally. But we'll see. We'll see. Got Tank Hunter Spam coming in here from Shea. Trying to take the buildings in the middle. We got one, two, three. Very nice. Walking in a straight line. Got War Factory up here for size. We got Barracks as well. First Missile Defender coming out. And uh, let's see, we've got two Chinooks here, one Chinook here. Let's see if he's going to get that second Chinook relatively soon. Because it's always difficult to uh, manage your funds, as you were saying in the very beginning. You've got to decide what you want. And it looks like Size wants that offensive Humvee right here, right now in the beginning. We've got a Ranger coming out as well. Maybe he's going to go... Where's he going to go with that Ranger? Hmm. Let's keep an eye on that guy. The oil is over here on the right side, though. So... Oh, he actually is going to put it in the next Humvee. Okay, so here we have the sneaky Humvee going on the right side here. And Shay actually building a bunker. He has a feeling something's coming. And he's not exactly wrong. And he's coming here with an outpost. Excellent. Very nice with this outpost. Finds the Humvee and sort of makes it a bit difficult for size to engage on this side. Meanwhile, we have the three Rangers here ready, actually, expecting these tank hunters. And now these tank hunters have to go back. Very nice. You have an attack and a perfect counter from both players at the same time. Meanwhile, we have a Humvee coming in on the left-hand side. This is just an empty humvee so it's probably just a gun down some trucks and oh the doles are slightly exposed here he's gonna move this guy back oh no reaction yet okay all right dude, dude just put him a bit you know it's a bit dangerous man like ugh. okay outpost does get destroyed by the missile defenders humvee now trying to find its way back in and those are moving just a little bit down uh size now knows that no money is being collected here meanwhile we do have an offensive uh, outpost going down here on the side. Size ready with his Humvees, evacing and destroying the outpost. No, wait, yes, no, maybe, no, gets away just in time. Look at that, very nice. Okay, Humvee being chased off by the outpost. Lots of things happening already in the first minute. Humvee actually went down here to the tank hunters, so that was well played by Shea there. And oh, look at this! All these poor infantrymen getting gunned down, but he is getting some kills. Look at this, and old school sending donation. Hey, thank you very much, man. Have you ever considered betting tournaments? Ooh, no, I don't know if I can or, or these things. Uh, I, I try and stay away from those things, I'll be honest, you know, because laws and whatnot, you know, I don't wanna, don't wanna go too far with that. But hey, if you wanna do a friendly bet in the chat with just some friends and people, yeah, I'm sure you can do that, so. Uh, uh, if you do bet, then do, decide, uh, do tell me what you've decided, like who, you're, who you think is gonna win this best of nine in the World Series. We got Humvee's very defensively laid out here, I like this. And uh, immediately the evac coming for laser lock on the outpost. And the outpost will probably get taken out here. Uh, good evac in time. And is this Humvee going to go down? No, it survives. And ooh, on this side, actually, ooh, look at this. A Humvee drove right into the outpost, causing the splash damage to also blow up the outpost. But now things are getting very dangerous here for Mr. Big Size. Infantry blobs coming on the right side quite close. And there are some infantry on the left. If uh, Shea keeps up this push, he can actually do some good damage here to Size. Decided to attack the Shinnok for a second there, but then decided to switch target and kill some Humvees instead. And here, again, two Humvees going down. The V-count is staying quite low for Size. Meanwhile, do we see any expansions happening from Shea? Doesn't seem to be the case. He did get a prop, which is nice, but I mean, there's money right here waiting to be taken. Uh, that is something he could potentially do, which will help him close out the game. A very wounded outpost, probably going to get taken out here. Evac coming right on time. And V running away just in time as well. Look at that, very low health. 
Uh, definitely needs to be repaired here. Maybe get an ambo as well. Missile Defender going for the building here. Very good idea. And the same on this side. That will really help uh, size with the map vision and also map control as a result. But again, now we have some more infantry in the base of size. This is going to be so difficult to deal with every time. And is he going for... What's he going for? Let's see. Is that Humvee going to go down? Yes, uh, Humvee is going down. We have the outpost here doing some good damage and actually Shinnok taken out as well. And this is where things start to really make a difference. When the Shinnoks get taken out, that means that uh, supply collection for size is reduced. And that is when things get really scary. We've got two outposts coming on the right-hand side here. And it wouldn't surprise me if Shea is going to take this first game. It wouldn't surprise me if he is going to take out the big size. And there we go. Size throwing the GG and Shea takes it. The first game. Very well played there. Oh, boys. And just like that, it's 1-0 for Shay. Now, it was infantry versus laser, and uh, there definitely is a bit of a, an army advantage going, um, like, having infantry. Because it's very difficult for laser to hang on. But uh, Shay still managed to pull off a victory here against the almighty big size. Which is uh, no easy task, guys. Definitely no easy task. All right, so let's wait for Shay to join. I'm sure he's uh, very happy. It's a best of nine, so it's a race to five victories. The moment there are five victories, that guy will continue on to the next round. So right now we're in round two. And uh, yeah, let's see who's going to win this. I saw someone before, um, I don't know where, I think it was before the stream started even, uh, someone said 5-0 uh, to size, but that's already not going to happen. <laughs> oh, boys. All right, let's see. Will size. Sorry about that. Oh, I think he means going AFK. <laughs> uh, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Okay, so now we actually hear about what says size. He's a bit confused being late. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now size actually has infantry and he will have a slightly easier time than last game. Um, no worries, says size. Very nice, very respectful guy. But uh, for sure, as laser, it's going to be pretty tough against infantry. Like you saw last match. Um, you know, it's difficult to try and keep those Humvees alive and constantly gun down all those infantry. But, uh, yeah, let's actually see if uh, Shea can hold on. And actually, we see a similar build order here, but um, the question is... Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, I love seeing that. I love it when players do the exact same build order, right? These guys have no clue what the other guys did as a build order in the beginning, but they just do the exact same thing in the next match. That's how you know that you're watching pro players, man. That's how you know. If everybody just kind of does whatever they want every match and it's always different and all this stuff, then, you know, it's, it's like, eh. But look at this, even the tank hunters. But here we go. The first variation coming in into the strat is that size is probably going to try and take these huts here on the right. Let's see. Wait, no, yeah, just one guy. And the minigunner. Oh, is he going to go fast oil? That would be that would be quite interesting. Uh, let's see. Down south here, we've got already four Chinooks. Remember in the previous game, I said that Shay, uh, I mean that size was on three Chinooks. Shay already has four. Now that means he's going to have a delayed Humvee uh, because he has to, you know, spend the money to build the Chinook first. So he has to wait for the Chinook to to drop um, the money first before he can queue a unit. And we actually see something very different here: an ambulance. You know, the thing that's supposed to save lives is now going to go forth and attempt to wreck size. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to work out. Um, it's a bit of a strange tactic, I think. I don't think we see this very often. But there are three missile men inside. So if he goes very fast into this base, into this area, he could maybe try and uh, laser lock the supply trucks and do a bit of damage and a bit of harassment. And the advantage that the ambulance has is that the ambulance has a lot of rocket armor. So it already took quite a few uh, hits there from the rockets, but it still has decent health. And also, the ambulance, I think it's, its turning rate or its acceleration rate is a bit faster than a Humvee. Um, so like that, it's slightly easier to, to navigate with an ambulance. And let's see, he's going for the, the building here. Meanwhile, on the left-hand side, we've got a Humvee coming here. Uh, probably trying to find some trucks. Might actually spot a dozer here. Uh, we've got outpost. Actually, this Ambo versus an outpost. That is very well done. The last time I've seen uh, Ambos being produced successfully against infantry generals was when I saw uh, Rage versus, um, I think it was True Viking. I think it was an infantry general versus super weapon general. It was casted by generals, gentlemen, and honestly, guys, I think it was one of the best matches or best moments I've seen uh, with an ambulance, like, honestly. 
Anyway, let's see. We go out. These uh, scary, scary infantry now coming to the base of Shea. Shea has to send all his zombies. Look, he was going here. He was probably going to go for an attack, but has to go all the way back to try and defend. And this is one of the problems uh, that USA has when dealing with an infantry general. Uh, looks like Humvee went down here to some tank hunters. And... I, ooh, two ambulances here. Shinook already under attack by that one minigunner. He has to move this guy away. And he does so successfully. And one Humvee going down. And the Shinook! The Shinook going down! Oh, Size managed to get one of the Shinooks here. That is actually a bit of a blow. And the Ambo got uh, TNT'd. And here we have an outpost on the left-hand side already. Ooh, so dangerous, so scary. And down goes one of the Shinooks. Other Shinook has to get away and already low health. This is really difficult for Shea to clean up. He's going to really have to micro this very well. And the longer he waits, the longer he won't be able to collect this money here. We've got another outpost coming in on the right. And this is the thing, man. Infantry General can be so ruthless against USA. We don't see tow missile upgrade yet. That would probably be quite helpful. Oh, this was just an empty outpost. Oh, distracting. Uh -huh. uh, those are going down here. And was that actually the last dozer of Shea? It appears to be the case. Not seeing any other dozers here. And with Shea Dozer Hunted, if the only thing he can build now is what you see on the screen, then it's only a matter of time. If the power goes down, then the power will be gone forever. Cannot be rebuilt. If a barracks goes down, then no more infantry can be produced. And look at the number of infantry coming. Shea would really like to have some Pathfinders right about now, but he still needs another 1,300 experience in order to get that. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. And these Humvees now coming dangerously close to the troop crawler. And moving them away. And uh, we need the flashbangs right here. Flashbangs coming in. And not spreading out the minigunners by size. A bit of a mistake. Losing a lot of them over there. It uh, does manage to take out the, the rangers. Um, and here we go. Building destroyed. GG by Shea. And there we go. Size takes the victory. And it is 1-1 just like that. Look at the money collected as well. So difficult to do this as USA. And that brings the score to 1-1. One, one. Ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Yay. Okay, I don't know if it makes a difference. But come on, let's see. I want to see this match. It's going to be so cool, man. I mean, how often do you get to see Size versus Shea? Uh, you don't see them often enough, right? Size actually doesn't play online that often. And they're off! And yes, the match is working, everything working fine. And we have Big Size going with his demo worker straight down immediately. Like, honestly, just going for it, man. Going for it. He's scared, probably, of potential Comanche harassment. Shea down here in the blue as Air Force. What is he going to do? He's going for the second supply. He wants to do something amazing, I am sure. And uh, Size just has to be ready for it. I really wonder if we're going to see Comanche, because it, it, I have seen it work so many times on this map that strat it's like if you do it right you, you basically have a, a free victory every time uh this matchup is quite unbalanced i'd say air force definitely is the better army here so uh yeah let's see are we gonna see an airfield are we are we are we yes no maybe perhaps probably not no we're seeing a war factory and uh, we're seeing nice and traditional coming in here from shea he's gonna do a dozer drop though and this worker actually for scouting purposes running all the way down and we don't get the command center cell on uh from shea at least not yet and we've got Mr. T's being produced here by the Demo General. So he only needs a couple of them to really be dangerous and harassing. And uh, Shea managing to find himself a bunch of workers. And uh, he's going to now do some crushing, perhaps. Mr. T on the way to try and find that dozer. Crushes one worker. The other worker making tunnels says, okay, screw that. We'll continue work later. And uh, Mr. T now trying to make a run for it. And uh, those are going back home to base. Nice and safe. We've got a very forward tunnel from size. Wow, look how forward this is. It literally is even past the road. This is like technically in his base, right? Like that's insane. That is so crazy. I also am wondering why we're not seeing the CC cell happening here from Shea. Uh, the other worker does go down, but this forward tunnel could be a real problem here. And now finally getting the barracks. So Shea is a bit behind here with the little uh, aggression that he did. And it's unbelievable. We already have a load of RPGs out and a quad. And Shea has actually nothing to do with this. He can use the laser point defense of the Chinooks to try and uh, stop some, some of these missiles. And is he going to do that when engaging these rocket men? No, he's not. Ooh, Shea having a bit of a mismicro here. Power does go down. 
and over here the quad now stopping the mining altogether on the left hand side this actually looks like a really bad position for Shea so quickly did size come in and so quickly did he already cause big problems and big harassment we've got a Humvee now coming in with the Hellfire drone that will help to try and take out the quad as the quad dances around the supply dock and uh, we have an offensive Humvee so Shea sort of trying to recover but we actually look at this we've got two quads here they will take out this Humvee no problem got a uh, missile defender coming in here but look at this even while it's repairing these quads are taking it out oh man this might be a really short game here super aggression coming in from big size so aggressive and it looks like it's paying off i think shy uh, i think shay is is here like he's he's pretty screwed here look at that size has him in a chokehold he actually has to come back with his offensive Harmvi to try and defend. This is really looking bad. And these quads only costed a total of 1,500 for his size. And they've done so much damage. Look at the, ma the money supply collected here. LOL GG. Quickly, let's see. So that's 25k. And this is 24k. So Shea losing literally 1k. Just not being collected because of size's fast aggression. Demo versus air this quickly. Look at that, 3 minute 22 second match. That was an unbelievable performance there by Big Size. He went all in with the uh, worker and this was a matchup that really and truly uh, should have been in the favor of Shea. Shea should have had this, but the last thing he expected was a very, very extremely forward tunnel to the point where it was in his base and then quads coming out immediately. What a tactic. Very well played there by Size. But uh, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, it's starting. Okay, and here we go. We got Shea in the demo as blue. And he's at the top here, and he is fighting a very, very dangerous enemy over here. Mr. Big Size as the Air Force in orange on the glorious snowy drought. A revision by Jundi. And we see a very fast barracks being built here. Probably a fake barracks. And uh, already the strat is different from what Size had. So Size, his first worker, he didn't give a shit. He just went straight down and started building a tunnel. Just like that. And uh, we're seeing a different build order coming out of Shea here. The question is, the question is, what is the right build order? What will help? What will work in defeating Big Size as an Air Force General? Size getting two supplies up, very nice and fast. And sending a forward dozer, probably to try and crush some workers. Trying to build some tunnels here and there. And uh, actually, that was already a difference that was in the previous game, where Shea built a supply here and a supply here, and then went with a dozer in a Shinnok and did some crushes here. And it actually allowed this tunnel that was over here to go up. If instead Shea went for this supply, that strat would have already failed. So I see uh, Size doing a lot of uh, strategic thinking here. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if he literally was playing one time and then, like, took out a pencil and a notepad and was like, hmm, if I do this, this will work out better, yes. You know, strategic minds and all all that stuff. And uh, Shea on, on two supplies here. And looks like he's going to plan to get a third one. Uh, probably not yet. We don't see any Mr. T's. We're not actually going to get a terror tech coming out of the... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, he gets the dozer there. That's actually a good hit. Gets the dozer. The other dozer is nice and safely boxed in, though. Um, but this tunnel should go down. He should cancel this. Why is he not canceling this? Shay. Oh, that was a cancel, though. That was just last second. That was a cancel. So he got that 800 back, but that was close. Maybe he was trying to keep the Humvee there. And then just in time for the tech to appear. He actually got the scrap here. That actually could be very useful. Immediately, tunnel going up. And RPG's coming out. Oh, nice. He was semi-baiting uh, semi the Humvees there. Actually managed to get one missile firing. And we've got a sneaky worker on the left-hand side here. Might try and build something very nasty, very cruel. Uh, we've got one Chinook trying to do the laser point defense. Uh, but we actually have to scrap tech here. Doing some good damage. One Humvee going down. Very nice reversing there. Check that micro on that tech. That is very good. And takes out another Humvee. And a third Humvee. Size, what are you doing, man? Size, what are you doing? You just lost four Humvees and all you've accomplished was kill a worker and a tech Man, that was a lot of money lost there uh, That kind of gives a, a big sort of like boost to Shay who now has a bunch of techs and a quad Let's see a tunnel going up on the left-hand side here. What's going on? How is Air Force like on the back foot here? We've got Terra Tech coming in. Oh, Mr. T almost taken out. No actually manages to wait. What's this? Oh, man, that was weird. You guys saw that. He actually walked right into the center of the building, but it still blew up. Last second, 
So a bit of a luck there for Shea that it actually did get destroyed. And Size actually in some trouble. What is going on here today? We actually have a super tech just got taken out. And Humvee again going down. Oh my god, this match is insane. It's just as crazy as the last one. It's unbelievable. Supply stash now going up. We're going to have Shea on three supplies. That is a lot of income. And this supply is sort of being... No, not exactly mined, is it? No, it's not. We've got four Chinooks just chilling here on this one supply. So it's going to be three supply versus uh, one. And I don't know about you guys, but according to my math, that means that Shea has a very good chance of actually still taking this game. He's got a forward tunnel. And now coming in with quads from the side. What is happening here? What is happening? How can Air Force lose this matchup? Is Shea really going to make this happen? Is he going to turn this into a 2-2? This is absolutely unbelievable here. Size lost way too many Humvees trying to take out this forward position here. Oh man, look how many quads are coming in. We might even see a second war factory going up soon. And look at this, Shea just chilling. Chilling, no problems, just making sure no mining happens. Laser lock coming, not even really caring. Probably the right move. Oil capture does come through for size, but that's not going to be enough to deal with three supply stashes. Three supply stashes. That is a lot of income. That is so much income. Like, why is there not three, four arms dealers yet? Like, seriously. Sai Seng GG! Sai Seng GG! What is going on? Guys, what is going on? How did this happen? Shay actually managing to take the win here against size as Air Force. Unbelievable. It's 2-2. Two, two. This is just insane. It's 2-2. Two, two. I can't believe it. How did this happen? Shay managing to take the victory. Too many Humvees going down there at that little outpost part over here. This little outpost. Let me see if I can get on the radar here. Yeah, on the right here. That outpost made all the difference. Four Humvees went down there for size. If he had kept those alive, then he might have actually been able to be a lot stronger. And look at the money collected. The difference already starting to show, even in a match that's only going on for six minutes. Unbelievable match here. Very well played. So there is quite a bit of money in the middle, but it's a bit different from Tournament Desert because um, the money is a little more exposed. So you can't just kind of like... Tournament Desert has like those small little cliffs. Is Shea the one who knocked out Freestyler? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Shea is no small boy, guys. He is a, he is a strong player. And uh, like I said, I'm very glad that he could participate in this World Series. And I mean, here you go. He already made it 2-2. You know, against size. The almighty size. So, I don't know. Excellent, man. I think this is really cool stuff. Anyway, so here we go. We actually are in the match. We've got Blue uh, Laser. Was I not bottom? No, you were not. No, you were not. <laughs> Let's see if size says something to that. But uh, here we go. Shea, Laser, Blue at the top against Big Size. At the bottom here as demo in the orange. And we've got a fast barracks coming out. Doesn't look like it's a fake barracks because fake structures build uh, twice as fast. So I think he's building just a normal, casual, regular barracks. And uh, let's have a quick look around the map for you guys who don't really know this map too well. We've got the oil here and of course an oil on the other side. Quite similar to Tournament Desert. And uh, the little village in the middle is now, like I said, there's no height difference here. It's just flattened. Um, so that does kind of change your tactics up just a bit. You can't just build a few tunnels here and then you don't have to worry because there's a cliff. No, from all angles, players can come and attack. So we also have a half-destroyed bunker here. So if you occupy that, you might want to fix it. And the oil is slightly more exposed as well. You can send a Humvee here and attack over here, uh, even though you have this uh, manned and it won't really do anything. So here we go. We've got a dozer drop coming out of Shea here. Let's have a quick look at his base. Very standard. He's going to try and find a worker and finds this guy over here on the right. And actually, size already building on the left-hand side, and Shea finds it. Mm, very interesting. He's probably going to do the pop, uh, the evac here, and maybe try and go for the crush. And is size paying attention? Wait! Oh my god! What was that? What was that? Oh my god! A miss micro, miss click. Is he going to get it? No, he's not going to get it. Oh my god! He's not going to get it. Oh, Mr. T coming out. Do we see a force fire? And down goes the dozer. Oh my god. So unfortunate for Shea. Having that misclick on the dozer and this tunnel going up actually is a big deal because it means that size can easily attack from the left hand side. Immediately a tech coming in. And there's something in here, boys. There's something. Wait. Now there's something in here. And it's a load of RPGs. Let's have a quick look at size's base. And uh, quite standard, quite normal. But now there are two tunnels one on the left, one on the right. 
And this is quite an open map, so it's going to be quite difficult for Shea to hang on here. And the RPG is popping maybe a bit prematurely there. But they do actually manage to get some shots off. We've got the laser lock coming on here on the tech. And the tech actually survives because it got the scrap from killing that dozer. Oh, boys. Now we have two scrap tech here. Low health. He might want to send this guy back to heal. And that is exactly what he does. We've got the RPGs here right now causing a bit of a problem. This Humvee cannot exactly engage. And you might say, hmm, this is a big problem for Shay. But over here, we have another tunnel. And right now, another attack happening. Size not backing down. He's constantly coming with the aggression. Ambo coming in for the crashes. Nice split from the RPGs. And uh, Ambo probably does go down. Wait, no, Ambo survives. Ooh, very well done by Shay. Very well microed. But now we still have more techs on the right-hand side. And there probably are more RPGs in here. There we go, just two RPGs. It's enough to cause some problems. And um, three techs coming in. And the super tech coming. Vet 2 here. A Vet 2 super tech. Is it going to reach Vet 3? Because when it's Vet 3, oh man, it's it's the GG, guys. It's the GG. That unit will be so difficult to kill. A uh, bit of a delayed reaction here from size. Laser Lock does manage to get one tech, two tech, and the third tech running off. Uh, still these RPGs here, so they're a bit annoying. And Ambo going down, but just slowly, slowly. You can see the map control going in the favor of size. If you check out the mini map, look at this. We've got text here. We've got a palace already being constructed. Wow, a palace. So early on, you don't see that. Laser lock happening here by Shay and actually takes out the super tech. Look at that. Very well done. Just a bit of a delay there from size. If he was just a teeny bit faster, he could have saved that guy. But down goes the super tech. And that is a very important moment for Shay. A bit of a mini victory there in all these battles. And uh, it's something he needed for sure. We've got loads of techs coming out here. And uh, this Humvee now probably going to get taken out. Do we see laser locks? We see laser locks. And they almost take out this guy. Oh, look at that. And uh, still scrap here. And these techs, when they are vet 2, they self-repair. So they become a little more difficult to deal with. And uh, constantly we're looking at Shay's base here. Constantly. He's constantly under attack. And uh, that does not look good for Mr. Shay. His Humvees are somewhat dying. He's having trouble keeping them alive. But it's not like he's run out of Humvees at all. He needs to get back with this one. He needs to save it. Oh, that is a waste. That is a waste. He could have saved this Humvee. And uh, one thing that you tend to see with USA players is they try and get a nice amount of Humvees. They try and save them. They try and keep them alive. And, uh, oh, is this a terror tech? Is this a terror tech? Yes, it is. Mr. T is running the wrong direction and actually intercepted by Shea. Very well done there. Very well done. Fast reaction. Tech is still alive, but that guy is not going to do much. But meanwhile, look at the middle. We've got size here taking a supply. We've got tunnels everywhere. Look at the number of tunnels. Seeing how he went palace, it wouldn't surprise me he's planning to get a battle bus here. Because when you build all these tunnels, you get a lot of RPGs just for free. And of course, you know, those guys, they don't like to run around. They like to chill in the bus. So, you know, why don't you give them a bus, man? Why don't you do it? Size, why don't you give them a bus? Come on, buddy. Come on. Okay, maybe later. But anyway, so this tech's still around. Actually, this tech is pretty good for uh, uh, scouting there, if uh, Shea doesn't take it out. And we have another tech here, taken out quite nicely. And we actually see rocket buggies. Look at that. Transitioning into rocket buggies. Already five minutes in, and we see rocket buggies. That is not something you see very often. And um, to be honest, because Shea has been on the back foot this whole time, it allowed size to get that tech. And a firebase here. Ooh. I think you should switch into Search and Destroy because look how open this map is. Uh, there are no real hills and, you know, flat terrain, that is where rocket buggies shine because you don't have weird little cliffs that, you know, units can hide behind. And here we go, first rocket buggy out. Shay now knows what's up and one Humvee already taken out. The other Humvee might go a bit low health here, but looks like he'll stay alive. And if you see rocket buggies, you can also expect a Jarman. What is going on here? Why is Shay sending these guys to certain death? Is this a mismicro? Yes, it is. Oh, man. These things, man. Anyway, in the meantime, we see a worker on the right-hand side trying to find a sneaky corner like here. That's a, that's a nice corner next to these weird cars that are upside down. You know, and uh, build a tunnel there. But Missile Defender is there. Uh, he's sending his whole Humvee army over here. Uh, what? Why the whole army, man? Is he going to try and maybe go in from the side and do a base attack? That probably could work out. Okay, size now engaging these Humvees from the building. Shay knows what's up. He knows there are units over there. Humvee pop, I mean, the buggy pop happening. Two Humvees going down like that. It wouldn't surprise me if Shay might just call the GG a little soon here. 
seeing how he basically has no real way of taking out size, at least not at this stage. Let's see, we got Tunnel going up anyway. Oh, that's going to be dangerously close. Look at that. Oh, 95%. Oh, my God. This guy deserves a medal. Oh, my God. 95%. That was awfully dangerous. We've got Laser Lock. Wait, no, no, no. There's Jarman in the scene. So he's going for the building. And does he get it? Does he get it? Yes, he gets it. Okay, that's very nice. Even if this building just gets destroyed, that means that uh, Size most likely won't be able to occupy it with RPGs. Unless he then fixes the building. But who the hell does that, man? That's too much micro. Like, no one does that. Search Finally, after have to search and destroy. And there's only still one dozer left for Shea. So he has to be careful there. But look how many buggies. One, two, three, four, five, six buggies. Where is that black market? There it is. And uh, does he have shoes? Not yet. He doesn't have shoes yet. But he's going to either get the shoes first or the buggy ammo upgrade. And I have to say, Shea hanging on like a trooper. Trying to make this work. But he's really in a, in a bad situation here. Another Humvee might go down. Evac ban. Evac. Oh, he actually managed to get two missile defenders out. And uh, yeah, he, he might. Oh, he's already going back. He's like, screw that. I'm not going to engage. And actually managed to laser lock a buggy here. Oh, that's always nice to get a kill like that. And Shea actually coming quite close to being level 3 here. 1,200 XP. Not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. And he might get snipers. Meanwhile, we have a worker who actually did reach this area. And actually managed to uh, get this tunnel up. This is a bit of a problem for Shea. Shea probably might want to take care of this. Uh, the moment he actually gets to A10s, he could just send a single A10. And that will just clear this whole section off. Second tunnel now being constructed. No, he needs to start engaging this. Oil now under attack. Um... Buggy's engaging this little bunker here. But Shea has a bit of time. He can try and destroy this oil. Uh, Buggy's not reacting. Still no Buggy ammo upgrade. Slightly confused there by Mr. Size. It's a super freaking awesome upgrade. It's only 1,200. It is uh, like a, a rocket buggy for demo is, I think, $1,000. So it's like, you know, it's only slightly more than the price of uh, one buggy. But all your buggies get to shoot, you know, double the volley. So that is a very worthwhile upgrade. Meanwhile, Shea still not reacting to this problem on the right. We have the search and destroy. We don't have tow missile. I'm quite surprised at that. It's a very good upgrade to get as well. Again, we're just not seeing upgrades, man. This is like the World Series of let's not get upgrades. Um, I, I would like to see upgrades. Honestly, they, they would really help. No ammo in the mix. That could be a bit of a problem because the ambulance is great at healing as well as soaking up damage from RPG troopers. And look at size. Oh my god, this guy. I don't know if he's trolling here saying, man, I got you by building a supply center. No, he cancels it now. He knows it's not going to work. But um, actually, Shea really in a tough position because look, there's money being collected here in the middle by size. There's money been, uh, being collected here. Uh, the oil was also taken by size. Uh, this oil still hasn't been taken for some reason, and this one hasn't either. Maybe uh, maybe size doesn't know it exists. But uh, Shea actually nicely cleaned this up. I'm, uh, I'm a bit surprised because I do think size had the ability to hang on. But wait, now it becomes clear. Size actually going here for a base attack. He's saying, you can have this area and leave your forces there, so I go and destroy your base. A very interesting move. We got a Jarman here as well, ensuring that these missile defenders can't come close. And uh, he tries anyway. German just not reacting though. We've got two A10s coming out here. Ooh, two A10s. That means he didn't go for snipers because I'm pretty sure he went for spy drone. And actually trying to take out the supply stash, but barricades just comes in in time here for size. So the building does survive. A bit of a blow here for Shea to kind of, you know, use his general power on that, but it doesn't actually yield that much. He basically just kills a couple workers and this can now be fixed up. Meanwhile, do we see any other crazy shenanigans? And, oh, what is this? We actually have the arms dealer got destroyed here by Shea. And it looks like it was maybe this Burton that did it, who already has a veterancy. So, yes, naughty boy. And uh, we have the demo upgrade here on the worker. And what? Did he just use his demo rebel ambush to kill? Oh, my God. That was a bit of a waste. That was a bit of a waste. Uh, I mean, Demo Rebel Ambush is so useful. You can use it on whatever you want, blow up any building. But he, he went for a, a single Burton. And right now, that's on cooldown. Building just in time, captured by Shea here. Look at the number of rocket buggies here. And let's see what's going on over here. We've got a worker on the side as well, trying to make a tunnel. And uh, Flashbang is on the case. He's probably going to stop that. Lots of buggies here. And uh, it's, it's really making it difficult for Shea to sort of uh, pierce through here. Um... So let's have a look at the experience. Shea is almost level 4. When he has 2,500, he'll be level 4. Not that it's so useful for Laser General because he just gets one extra A10. You know, whoop-de-doo. Or uh, Pathfinders, I guess. 
and uh, he's actually going for a supply center. This actually could be a very, very good or a very, very bad idea. If he can land these supplies and manage to keep them, then he actually has a chance of taking out size. Not saying a good chance, but a chance. Because if you look at the current situation, size has too much money, he's doing too well. Uh, he's got good units. He's even starting to build demo bikes now. And look, another sneaky worker, worker going to the top right here. But if he can hang on to these supplies, he will have significantly more income. And here we go. The problem already starts. This building is occupied. We have flashbangs here, so it can get taken out. And wait, did I see that right? No advanced training. Oh my god, man. Get advanced training. It's such a good upgrade. It's a bit expensive. It's 1,500. But it uh, doubles the veterancy rate for your units. So veterancy, what it does is it makes your units shoot a bit faster. It makes them uh, have a bit more armor and it makes them do a bit more damage. So it's very worthwhile. You know, it's very good when you get veterancy. Like this quad, you know, compared to a normal quad is, you know, this is really scary, right? So you want the veterancy. We even have TNT charge placed by the Jarman here on the building. And boom, that is very nice XP points in the pocket of Mr. Size, who's now coming real close to the base. And Demo Bag's actually coming to clear this up. And oh, look at that. Taking out two Humvees. And now there's just one damage Humvee here. But uh, Shay needed these Humvees back in his base to defend himself. And right now, things are not looking very good. They are looking awfully dangerous. Look at this. We even have Jarman here in the dozer. He could just snipe this and send one of the workers or the RPGs in and uh, then build power. Just for the lols, why not? And Shea surrenders, and there we go. Big size takes in this match. Oh, boys, what a match. What a match. I have to say, very good early aggression from Big Size. A very good map control. He had a bit of trouble uh, there in the mid game, but then later he really continued to push and managed. And the biggest, look at this. Look at the, this difference. This difference is uncanny. 91,000 cash collected for size. 55,000 cash collected for Shea. And man, that's just unbelievable. That is why size won. If this money was matched, I think size would have been, uh, I think Shea would have been able to win it. Shea definitely gave it his all, but he was just lacking the funds. And size knew that. Size made use of that. So very well played there by size taking this victory. But here we go, let's move on to match number six of this best of nine. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the World Series 2020 and it is Shea versus Size. And I have to say, very uh, very well played so far by our players. Okay, so we've got Size now in the orange as Laser at the top and he is facing off against um, Shea down here, Demo in the blue, who is probably uh, probably thinking like, mm, I gotta win this because I'm on the back foot here. So size, is he gonna pull it off? Is he gonna get a win here? And is he gonna try and make this a 4-2? Or will Shea come back and do an amazing uh, demo rush? Demo things and other beautiful demo moments. You know, just casually being a demo general and blowing things up. And will he take this match? Let's have a look. We got dual supply here from Big Size. We got, of course, a dual supply out of GLA because you know they're GLA. They always go dual supply. I mean, seriously, when 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 does a when does a GLA go no eco? That that is like a red flag, right? Red flag. Anyway, so we got Shay doing the exact same thing as Size in the previous game, sending a worker from the uh, to the left, sending a worker to the right, probably building some tunnels. But uh, Shay not waiting around. He's building it quite soon here. He didn't wait until like over here. Uh, he's like, nah, I, I like this village. I like to chill here. I like to have, like, my money secure, you know? And, like, just build it nice and safe and, and cool. And we actually see a tunnel over here as well. So not as aggressive as Size in the previous match. And uh, Size, in fact, coming with the dozer. Trying to find some workers, you know, just to casually murder with, you know, that big, you know, kaboom over there. Just crush a worker with lots of pain and agony. You know, for the glory of the US of A, of course. I'm actually repairing this bunker. Wow, would you look at that? Uh, that is not something I expected him to do. But he's actually setting a missile defender here. Uh, it's probably a very good move to do this. Because if you put a missile defender in here, then you can scout this whole right side. And uh, you don't really have to worry about it. Um, I see here, fixed score, Shea 2, size 3. Yeah, but it, it is. Size won the previous game. Ah, right. Wait. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Hepsi. Yes, that is nice. Now the score is fixed. All good. And we continue focusing on the match. We actually had a tech here that got a bit damaged by this missile defender. So there you go. It already pays for itself to have these guys in here. It already slows down the rush. And that slowdown might just be enough to get another Humvee up in time. Humvee still chasing this tech here of Mr. Shea. 
But this tech definitely in some trouble. He can't actually go anywhere. And he's trying to, like, I don't know what he's doing. Like, tangoing with these Humvees. Trying to find an opening. And then Shay's like, oh, screw it. I'll just go back home. He might drop an RPG here to try and take out Dozer. No, he doesn't even bother doing that. And we got a terror tech happening here on the left-hand side, taking out a supply center, just like that. Dozers are exposed. There's no boxing that happened. That might be a good idea when you're against Demo General, because they can just terror tech and take out a bunch of your buildings and stuff. Okay, so this tech now went back home to repair. We've got the best mechanics in the tunnel networks. Units instantly repair. We set them in the tunnel network. And ooh, look at this. Look at this. Ooh, Shay not paying attention. Losing a tech for absolutely no reason. And uh, he can now man this building as well. Uh, we've got another tech over here. It's got units inside, so I don't think he wants to lose it, but there he goes. And it's got three Mr. T's. It was a tear tech that now is wasted. And is he going to force fire the ground? Yes, he is. But two guys still got gunned down. The reason that players would force fire the ground is to prevent the enemy from getting XP for killing the units. we got a load of techs on the left side here now from Shea. Uh, looking very lethal, very dangerous. There's scrap here as well for the taking. Let's see if Shay is going to take it. Yes, he is. Very happy, very jolly. And uh, we got uh, ooh, a Shinook. Might try and take this building. Probably if he evacs. Oh, no. There we go. Very good from Mr. Size there to, uh, to try and take the building. And to uh, this will really help take this little section here and kill this tunnel network. Meanwhile, there still is a presence of Shay on the right side of the map here. And... Uh, He's still messing around with his techs. He should just start building a toxin tractor and clearing these buildings because they're actually proving to be quite efficient for size. Here we go. Tech sneaks in. Three Humvees en route. Shay trying to micro the tech. Is it another terror tech? Yes, it is. Going for another supply center. Crushing the Rangers just for the lols, and the tech goes down. Meanwhile, we do have an offensive Humvee here from Shea. It is empty, so it's not going to do that much. But these workers are kind of exposed here. So he could just gun these guys down. Shea is not going to be able to react to this in time. He could just crush all this. And yeah, now Shea realizes that there's something over there. Uh, are there any techs out? Yes, there are. Why is he not just sending one tech back here to kill this Humvee? Why is he letting this happen? This is going to cost him valuable mining time. Got tech now coming. Okay, that's good. And uh, Shay just wants to push. There are loads of Humvees out from Size. Size has been keeping his Humvee micro uh, pretty good here this match. So he hasn't lost that many. And Shay also kind of scared about losing his techs. He's going back home. And uh, I don't know if this is going to work out very well. Tech does manage to take out the Humvee. And we have an oil capture coming in here from Size on the left oil and on the right oil. The center oil is not being captured. And uh, since there's an RPG out here from Shay, maybe that will just reveal the capture. It probably will. So now Shay should pay attention. He should know that the other oil is also being taken by size here. And oil is always a great source of money. We've got a tech running at the speed of light here. Look at this guy go. It's like got a jet engine on the back of him going for that crush. Does he get it? Yes, he does. And immediately, look at these techs. He's going to the left-hand side. He has a feeling. He has a suspicion. Did you take that oil? He needs to know. And he's probably got some RPGs in here, and he wants to destroy that oil. And there we go. He now finds out. Yes. Yes, he does. Got another tech managing to sneak in. Another terror tech taking out the supply center. Lots of supply centers being destroyed here. Probably not a good, uh, not a good day to work in a supply center today. And uh, all these techs now trying to sneak into the base. And there are a lot of them. And uh, let's see, this guy has something, this guy has something. So some actually have units inside. Three, three techs have units inside. Let's see if they are RPGs. And we actually got a dozer here trying to build a CC. Is this the last dozer? No, there's two dozers here. Uh, do we see Shea responding and reacting, trying to kill that dozer? And we might, yes, down goes the dozer. That is one dozer down, one dozer left for size. Loads of RPGs here, but also loads of Humvees. Tunnel trying to go up here. It's a bit of a risky move. We've got a tunnel here on the left side, probably to try and take out that oil. Shea actually building two supply stashes here. He wants that money. He's getting a palace up as well. I'm surprised he's going palace instead of dual war factory and just trying to pump out units. Tunnel might just go up here, but there still is a dozer on the right side. And since it magically vanished, I'm pretty sure it's in one of the Chinooks. I mean, let's see which one it is. Um, <clears throat> no, it doesn't seem to be in one of the Chinooks. Where is the last dozer of size? I saw it here a second ago. There it is. There it is. Hiding in the corner. So the tunnel goes up, but doesn't actually achieve all that much. The biggest thing that this attack achieved 
was to prevent the mining happening on this left side. And you might say, oh, is that it? But that actually does make a difference because it slows down the production of size. And it gives um, Shea the opportunity to try and take more of the middle. But actually, look at this. The oil being taken here and the oil being taken here. So size's income is actually not too bad, even if he doesn't have the ability to mine here. He's got a third oil. He's on three oils and a supply. So he's not actually that badly off. Those are now coming to finish the command center. 90% soon. And this guy is going to go up. And meanwhile, mining has resumed. So the big attack from Shea. He's had heavy losses here. The question is, was it worth it? So we have the oil on this side destroyed. The oil in the middle is going to get destroyed now as well. I don't think size can stop that in time. And the oil on the right side now also destroyed. So all the oils have been taken down. But the biggest question, boys and girls, will size be able to take some of that sweet, sweet money right here in the middle? Because that is going to make a big difference. So we have the palace up. And of course, with it, we see this beautiful demo upgrade. And if you have the beautiful demo upgrade, you get demo bikes, man. You get demo bikes. They are great for taking out Humvees. Um, we don't have the perfect connection speed at the moment. We go latency of 15, which is still pretty good. But it would be better if it was 10. 10 is best, latency, right? And uh, demo bikes are really difficult to deal with. Uh, especially in when there's uh, when it's a bit more laggy. I still think this is all right. It's quite acceptable. So I don't think Sai is going to have a real hard time dealing with them. Uh, we also see a rocket buggy out. And uh, I just keep hearing demo bikes. But uh, Shay needs to use them efficiently. He can't just randomly engage with demo bikes. He needs to go at an angle and uh, make sure that he has a clean shot. Okay, takes out two missile defenders there. But basically, if you did a demo bike coming from the left side and the right side, then you know one of them is probably going to hit. That's the kind of stuff you need to do. And uh, let's see if Shea is going to do that later on. Uh, Shea also being dangerously close to level 3. So that means Rebel Ambush. The demo Rebel Ambush. The bane of everyone's existence. That, oh my god, he's got it. And it's going to blow up my whole army. What do I do? Yes, that one. Um, it's a real problem to deal with. Search and Destroy now comes through for Big Size. And Big Size is a big Humvee army. But what's he going to do with it? Do we see a command center up for Shea? No, we do not. No, we do not. Maybe a, a slight mistake there. He should see he's close to level 3 and start building that beautiful command center already. Or maybe he's just heavily depending on demo bikes. We've got uh, two rocket buggies. And I hear Burton. Oh, wait, no, no. It's a demo jamming taking out this annoying firebase thing. And we've got Ambo going down here. And we've got another Humvee going down here. And Shea is level 3, ladies and gentlemen. He is level 3. We've got a couple of demo traps here. And we don't see any scout drones from size. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, my God. That was close. That was close. That was really close. So he has a scout drone here. Oh, my God. It's going to happen anyway. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The demo trap. Oh, my God. The demo trap. The demo trap gets four Humvees and an Ambo. And just like that. A freaking demo trap of $200 makes all the difference. And he has to go back. He cannot push his attack. What an amazing payoff. A $200 demo trap killed an army of... I don't know how expensive that was. My god. Uh, Shea's still not utilizing the demo bikes correctly, though. Uh, he's just sending them one at a time. That is not how it works. Very nice evac here from Big Size. Putting all the missile defenders in the building. And uh, that's actually going to make it quite difficult for uh, for Shea to hang on here. We have a Jarman in the building shooting down some of these uh, beautiful missile defenders that, you know, getting shot in the back, you know. They probably had better days. But man, that demo trap, man. That demo trap. Oh, unbelievable. Ooh. All right. So we got workers now starting to collect again. And we have just one black market. Still no command center from Shea. Man, you're almost level four. Um, you know, get a command center. You've got one of the best general powers in the game. You know, Demo Rebel Ambush. You know, use it. We got, we got an A10 coming in here from size, but we don't see Demo Rebel Ambush. Come on, man. Come on. You can just put it here and just blow up more than half these Humvees. Let's see. There he goes. Command center. It's like he's listening, guys. It's like he's listening. And I know some of you go, what, what, he's listening, oh, no way. Well, I'm just here happily telling you that there's a three minute stream delay. So no, he, he's not listening, man, he's not. Uh, also, like uh, I spoke to some players about it and they said it's very distracting when you're trying to play a high level game and there's like, uh, you know, a commentator like saying, ah, oh, this is happening, that's happening. When you're trying to focus on your game and these are very, very high level players. They're not gonna be doing that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, but I'm just still very happy he's getting command center. So we've got uh, rocket buggy ammo. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six rocket buggies here from Shea that can definitely take out these poor boys without an ambo. 
Naughty size. Where's that ambo? And what the hell is this? We got a laser tank. A laser tank, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, oh, look at this. We actually got the terror tech happening, destroying the strat center here for size. Size realizing he's low on cash. He's trying to take the money on the left hand side. A bit similar to uh, the previous game here. But the biggest question is, will Shay allow that to happen? Shay right now is too focused on this Humvee army. We've got rocket buggies and techs. So these uh, Humvees can't go close because of the techs and they can't stay far away either because of the rocket buggies. So a very good army combination here from Shay. And um, <clears throat> look at that, Humvees just slowly getting picked off. Left hand side, we see more uh, bunkering from Mr. Size. This one still could do with a little heal, this little bunker here. And uh, some of these buildings are quite damaged. If he takes them, probably would help a lot. And uh, Shay just kind of busy here with this uh, Humvee army. Laser lock coming through and managing to kill one of the buggies. And command center, 93%. Oh, boys, I, I, this stuff is going to blow up. It's going to blow up so bad, man. Rebel ambush on the way, guys. I am telling you, man. It's a rebel ambush city. And it's just going to boom. There we go. <laughs> Just like that. Could have been a bit better. You got one, two, three, four Humvees. But either way, what are you going to do with three Humvees, man? You're not going to You're not gonna engage. You're just going to say, screw this. I'm going home. Oh, man. Meanwhile, though, Big Size is collecting on this side. And I don't think Shay even uh, realizes. I think he's too preoccupied with this uh, battle here. We see Shay also has um, the 5% cash bounty. So level 1 cash bounty. Uh, which is always nice. A little extra source of income. Uh, do we see any drop zones? No, we do not. So we see another strat center now being built here from big size. This money is dried up. This money still has how much? 7k. That's going to dry up soon. Meanwhile, we've got one, two, three, four markets from Shea. So Shea is going to be in an okay position. All the oils around the map have been destroyed. And we actually get to see laser tanks. I think he went laser tanks to try and deal with the uh, demo bikes. And they also deal good damage against quads and techs. But laser tanks are a bit slow, so this is basically uh, rocket buggy food right here. Easy to kill, and you know, you get XP, and Shay is uh, well on his way to getting to level 5. He needs 1,240 XP, and then he'll be level 5, which means Anthrax Bomb and the very dangerous sneak attack. Got this missile defender doing a bit of naughty stuff. And, uh, oh, ah, Pathfinder, right. So we got Pathfinders out of uh, big size here, very good. Pathfinders are great at preventing workers from just walking into random locations and trying to expand. So um, it's, a, it's a good decision, I think, by Size to go Pathfinder. Uh, let's see, Size actually only level 3, though. So he doesn't have many A10s. That, that's what that basically comes down to. You either get two A10s and have a good party, or you go one A10 in Pathfinders. And it looks like he went for the Pathfinder. There's actually one right here in the house. Look at that. A bit broken, but he's there. And he can just shoot at any worker and prevent the mining happening here. So that's actually very uh, very well played by Size there. And that does kind of screw up Mr. Shea, who is going to be a bit more limited on income. We see force fire happening here on the building, even though the building is already uh, somewhat destroyed. Um, si uh, Shea doesn't want this to get repaired and other units to go in it and all this shenanigans and stuff. And do we see a supply drop zone? No, we see a particle cannon. Look at that. Shea is going to have to deal with a particle cannon coming out of our laser general here. That is big size. It's going to be a problem. But at the same time, this is also going to be a little bit of a problem. This situation where the Chinooks are under attack. And we've got a lot of quads, a lot of buggies, and a radar van to find those annoying pathfinders. And when he finds them, they are worth quite a bit of XP. They're, they're pretty nice to kill. And there we go. One gets revealed. Let's see how much XP he gets here. Okay, that actually wasn't that much. I thought the Pathfinders gave a decent chunk of XP, but no, I guess they don't. Uh, laser Tank now gunning down the little radar van, just for the lols, I guess. But uh, Laser Tank going down. Shay now on 4,000 XP. He's got 1,000 left to go, and then he can do some serious damage. And uh, I'm sure that Rebel Ambush is soon ready. He probably used Rebel Ambush before to take out the Strat Center. And uh, we got an A-10 coming, and it might just go for the army. Ooh, is Shay going to move his army in time? Oh, what's going to go down here? What's going to go down? Only two quads. So that is not exactly an efficient A-10. But when people start using their A-10s for taking out enemy armies, it usually means like, oh shit, I'm scared of your army. And I don't want you to have a big army. So you start seeing things like that. All right, here we go. Rocket buggies advancing with some quads. And it uh, looks like size in some serious trouble here. And the engagement has started. Shea going for the base. Is he? Is he not? Do we see any upgrades? We don't see AP bullets, we don't see AP rockets, we don't see junk repair. Uh, at this point, I think it would be good to get those upgrades, my friend, to uh, to try and just, you know, deal a bit more damage. And uh, not reacting here. We've got a Burton being very annoying. 
quad on its way, but this is a vetted Burton that probably could take out a quad, especially, like I said, no AP bullets. So you might need two quads to do that. Uh, what is he going to use? He's going to use the remote charge. Yeah, he's using the remote charge. He might actually use it to blow up the quad here. Oh, man. Bad play from Shay here. Not paying attention. And maybe this is why a Demo Rebel Ambush was used in the Burton on the previous game. Just get annoying, like, this guy to just, ugh, go away, you know? So, here we go. Oh, a very important moment where Shay has stopped the collection process for Big Size. Big Size has got how many drop zones? Well, I can count them all on one hand because it's zero. Zero drop zones, so Size needs this money in order to survive. We still have cash bounty for Shay, which is still good. And there are markets, but at the same time, man, you can't... There we go. Two quads. Two quads is the right amount of quads. And there you go. Look how strong that Burton is. He still needs to go. He needs to get there in time and prevent that Burton from healing up. He's vet two. The healing process has started, and the Burton has gone stealth again. He managed to shoot a few bullets there at the Burton, and the Burton survives yet again. Oh my god. He needs to put a few tunnels up. He needs to make sure the Burton cannot pass here. And uh, Burton definitely paying for himself. He got a couple of uh, uh, markets. Right now, we got Shea on one, two, three, four, five markets. Five markets, guys, and this middle supply. So it is just a matter of time. It should just be a matter of time before Shea takes this victory. Burton now coming back, fully healed, ready to take out this quad and does so very effectively. And now we got a Vet 3 Burton. Dude, just send a Jarman, man. Send a Jarman and a quad because even a Vet 3 Burton cannot be taken out with a single Jarman shot. You need two Jarman shots to take out this very healthy boy here. Oh my god, he's been having his eggs every morning, and now he's very muscly and strong and powerful. Vet 3. And Shea is just gonna lose quads to this guy. Shea has to react. He's, he's not reacting. Look at this. Another quad going down. Bit low health. And oh, here we go. We got the scary Mr. Anthrax bomb coming in. And it might go for the. What is it going for? There is no army here. There is nothing here. Size has nothing left. <laughs> I think Shay expected a big army, but no, man. The guy has nothing. His income's dried up. He's got 950. Even if you uh, camp production with the anthrax bomb like this, it doesn't really make a difference. To be honest, the only thing that Size really has with Burton, and Burton got taken out because we've got the veteran C on the quad here. And Size saying a GG, man. A G, a G. And here we go. Unbelievable. We have a 3 3 situation. Oh my god. Who knew it was going to be 3 3? Unbelievable. In this best of nine in the World Series, round two, Shea managing to hold his own against the almighty size. Dude, if you want to pick up the game, get good. All you got to do, start it, play a bunch of games, non stop, spam away, get good. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe you will also be fighting against this big size here and be in a 3 3 situation. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. So here we go. We got Big Size in orange as the Air Force General. And he's going to be taking it up against Shay in the demolition. We have already seen this matchup before in the other map, the map that was Snowy Drought V4. But now we are on Tournament Desert. So I do think that Size is going to have a bit of an advantage in this map because it is a map that he knows very well. He knows it inside out. He could probably draw it just for the lols on the top of his head saying, okay, I've got supply here, got the village there. Even the space in between the buildings, he probably already knows what that is. And uh, Shay, who is a bit more of a newer player in the 1v1 scene, may not have played this map as often. So he might be having a bit more trouble. But let's see and let's see what's gonna happen. We got two supplies going down. Do we see an airfield? Do we see an airfield? Yes, no, yes, no. We see a. War Factory. We've got a bit of a lag spike happening here. We've got, ooh, latency, 29. 29, that is a latency that is not exactly in the favor of the USA player here. We've got another lag spike happening here. Ooh, 37. Ooh, ouchies. That is getting a bit high there. Um, let's see, we've got Mr. T going out here. Probably to save the worker line. We've only got two workers here. Okay, third one being built. Okay, good. He's, uh, he's building more workers. What about over here? Yeah, he's building more workers. Okay, so that's all good, all nice to see. Spy drone has been revealed by the tunnel network, so that can be easily taken out. I don't know why he doesn't take it out with the RPGs. Um, there we go, RPGs coming out. Easy kill. And uh, meanwhile, we see Doze Crush here from size on the right-hand side, uh, killing the little worker, all innocent. Wait, no, actually, he went in the building. And uh, size is continuing on, driving into the base of Shea. 
And uh, we have a standard USA, you know, barracks and war factory. No cell on the command center again. So this is uh, quite peculiar. We saw this with Shea as well. He kept his command center, even though he went Humvees. And uh, Sai is a bit of a delayed reaction here, but he's going to get this worker quite easily, quite comfortably. And uh, Dozer, yeah, just coming all the way here. And Shea knows what's up. He's got tech RPG. He's going to take out Dozer, and he's going to probably take that gorgeous scrap. Come on, buddy. RPG's going back in. Worker going back in. And what? Hey, what? Oh, there we go. Getting the scrap. Good idea. Because scrap is so nice and powerful. But it is an Air Force General. So you, may, you might not want to get scrap too. Because then the laser point defense can actually stop a technical. Yes, as ridiculous as that is because balance. Okay, we've got a tech running in here. What is inside? There's a couple of Mr. T's that are not going to do much. Because they're going to get gunned down by this Humvee. And it seems to be a full Humvee here from size. Or at least quite a few missile defenders in there. So that is uh, dedication. And we have a worker now trying to go for the bunker. And the scrapped up tech doing some good damage. But look at that. Humvee staying alive. And this is maybe the difference with the match that we saw on Snowy Drought. Instead of losing the Humvee, size now still has it. And when the Humvee count goes up, it sort of secures the USA player's chance of victory. The missile defenders didn't actually get in the Humvee here. Oh, boys, didn't get in the Humvee. We are experiencing a lot more lag than in the previous matches. We got latency of 24 there for a second. And on the left side, we got a Humvee trying to engage here and preventing the expansion. So uh, Shea is being somewhat contained. We got probably a Terratech coming in here and uh, trying to find that supply center because Shea seems to love blowing those up. Let's have a look what comes out. We've got three Mr. T's coming out, getting the supply center and going back home. Or what are we doing? We're crushing the Rangers just for the lols. Yeah, because he gets a veterancy for it. And there we go. Gets a veterancy and gets back home. So very nicely micro there from Shea. Destroying a building, getting the veterancy. And uh, that puts Size in a bit of a bad position here. Size managed to destroy the bunker and with it the worker. So no more expansion happening. And uh, Size likes it that way. We've got two techs here. But if you look at the map control, Size actually only has this middle position. The left position, he doesn't have. The right position, he doesn't have. He's got a few techs here that are empty. So we've got laser lock coming in here. So Shea will have to react. I don't know if he'll react in time because he's a bit busy over here. He's trying to get the middle. Might be a little optimistic. Laser lock probably will come through. Yes, it does. And um, yeah, middle is under heavy attack here. Both techs going down. Laser lock coming in. Oh my god, the losses are insane here. Look at this. All these techs lost. One, two, three, four techs. That is like, uh, ooh, four times 600. That's 2,400 lost. Just like that. And uh, size didn't lose a thing. These things, these kind of trade-offs, they become very painful later on in the game. We got another terror tech on the same supply. Seriously, this supply, this, this section is very dangerous. And... Uh, yeah, Dozer doesn't really make a difference trying to take it out because he still has command center. Uh, Dozer immediately going, trying to rebuild the supply center. This tech now trapped. And uh, we have a forward tunnel on the left-hand side here by Shea. He's finally going to try and ramp it up. We've got a free kill here. A uh, bit of a miss micro. This guy's quite low health. He might actually be able to pick it off. We've got Eva coming in here. It's a near-dead missile defender. And uh, Shea doesn't seem to care. Oh, Shea going in too deep here. Might actually lose his uh, techs here. Turning around last second. He gets the kill on the missile defender. But this uh, tech does go down. Ooh, look at this. We actually have one, two, three, four Humvees out from a big size. When this guy gets his strat center. Ooh, it's going to be party time, boys. The USA is going to be so lethal and so dangerous. And, okay, I don't know what's happening here. Just loads of techs everywhere. We're still committing to the terror tech situation, which, uh, yeah, it could definitely pay off. Because if you uh, do a terror tech, that is uh, 600 for the Mr. T's and 600 for the technical. So that's only 1,200 for blowing up a structure that will cost a size 2,000 to build. And here we go. We got four Humvees trying to find a way in. And actually, this whole side has been secured now. So... Actually, Shea trying to get the money on the left-hand side now. Might be a little too soon. And the Humvee's trying to sneak in. And they might just manage. We have a failed terror tech happening here. And uh, right now, Shea has to pay attention. It's starting to get very dangerous here. Shea doesn't look like he has all that much. He's building another forward tunnel. These forward tunnels are great, but you've got a Humvee army in your base, man. Humvee army now retreating. Tech's coming in here from below. 
Oh, loses the Vet 2 tech. That is actually a bit of a blow there. And uh, Humphy's now realizing that, oh, there's a scary tunnel here. We've got a quad out as well. The quad is always very nice to see because it will probably be there to harass the Chinooks. And we see an engagement here on the tunnel. And slowly, slowly, Shea is just losing that map control. He had it here in the middle and lost it, and he's going to lose it here and lose it. Um, the hole is still alive of the tunnel, so it could rebuild itself. We have a bit of a battle going on here. We've got three Humvees taken out here by Shea and a load of RPGs. This squad needs to go back and repair, but no, it's going to go down. And uh, why are the Chinooks flying towards the RPGs? Trying to get the RPGs out. And uh, four of them do go down here to all these Humvees. Tech does get back to safety. But we're not actually seeing a palace or, or anything different here. We're not seeing the oils. Uh, Shea actually is going to get that tunnel network back, maybe, small chance, uh, because of the GLA hole. And even here, another tunnel cleaned up. And the question is, where is gonna, uh, where is the strat center going to be placed, and when is size going to decide to do this? We actually got a King Raptor out here as well. Um, interesting choice. We've got a forward firebase. So it looks like size is slowly, slowly getting steady here in this situation. We've got an army of techs. Look how many techs. And I don't know what he's planning to do with these guys. I mean, these are not cheap guys. They're 600 apiece. Just like that. Loses one. Loses two. RPGs pop. Loses three. And now he's going to return to base. We've got a quad here. Single quad. It's not going to do much. But just like that, you know, 1,800. Lost for Shea. And the Humvee count just keeps increasing. And we see a supply, a forward supply. We see the GLA, I mean, we see the USA player trying to get the money here. Oh, man. This is not looking good for Shea here. Still no palace. Still just building techs. He's constantly using the exact same tactic, hoping that it works out. The terror techs do work, but at some point, you got to adapt. you got to get yourself some rocket buggies to try and take out these Humvees. you got to try something else. you got to get demo bikes, something. Constant tech aggression is just not going to do it. And there we go. We actually see King Raptors taking out the supply stash. Taking it down to the hole, but it does prevent more money from being collected. So it really looks like Size has the upper hand here. And the Dozer looks like he's moving down in the corner. We've got 3,000, 4,000 cash in the bank. It looks like we're going to see a Strat Center, boys. And there she is. Scaffold being placed down at Strat Center. And also, Big Size is level 3. So we see A10, we see Spectre. So that means we are not going to see a Carpet Bomber. Not yet. That will happen when Size hits level 4. But right now, things are looking very, very dangerous here for Shea. Shea saying GG. He knows it's over and surrenders. And Size takes this match as the you Air Force General. Oh, my God, man. Air Force doing it. Look at the units destroyed here. 43 units destroyed. And look at the units lost here for Shea. Lots of techs went down. 82 units produced and lost so many. And uh, it was just not exactly the best way of, of like navigating the funds, right? That could have been a bit better. A lot of techs were just wasted there by Shea. He was probably hoping to get a big enough group of techs to just kill all the Humvees and camp out the production of Size. But Size kept his Humvees alive a bit more in this match uh, compared to the one in Snowy Drought. So because of that, unfortunately for Mr. Shea, he got eliminated in this match by the Air Force General. That is Size. We've had some excellent play from both players. And uh, I don't know. Personally, I don't know. I think it can go either way. Honestly, I think it can go either way. But here we have Mr. Shea in the blue as the Air Force General taking it up against the big, big size who only needs to win one more match. And he is Orange and the Demo General. We got a very forward... Uh, I mean, we've got worker going down right away. We've got a supply center going up uh, right away as well. Where is this worker going? We've got a barracks here. So this is going to be a sneaky worker. Uh, maybe he's going to do that exact same aggression that we saw in Snowy Drought, where it was a three-minute match. It is possible. Let's see what happens. He could try and copy the exact same tactic. But there is a spy drone here. So Shea may have spotted that worker. We've got a dual supply center here from Shea. Quite standard. Again, no command center cell. Uh, still find that very interesting about the air forces saying like, no, I'm not going to sell it. I don't want to get those around it, you know, probably, probably a good idea. 
and the Dozer are now going to the left hand side probably to try and find a worker and in fact there is a worker here building a very aggressive tunnel very early on here less than one minute and the tunnel already going up next to the oil and the question is will that Dozer get there in time probably just about if Shea is paying attention so let's have a look we got another tunnel here on the right side trying to get the RPGs probably in these buildings try and secure this area and prevent some Humvee aggression we don't see a Dozer drop this time and oh a cancel on the barracks and now we see another barracks placement. Probably the barracks was a bit too close and he was like, no, if I get terror attack, that's going to screw me up. And yes, the dozer arrives at the scene nice and on time. But there is a tech out here from size with a Mr. T ready and a couple RPGs. The question is, is it going to be a terror attack? Is it going to be a tech RPG? Tech RPG could be very good to take out this dozer and then continue finishing off the tunnel. And it looks like everything went into the tech here. Very nice party inside the tech. And there is a Humvee out, but it's not moving up to the tunnel. Oh, never mind, there already is. Look at that. Look how fast Shea is. Already with a Humvee out. And size on his way. Oh, actually, this, this guy could get gunned down quite easily. And that is exactly what Shea is doing. He's trying to take out the worker and manages to take it out. Last second. Those are exposed here. But that is actually not that bad a thing. Not a bad situation. Because the Dozer might just soak up some damage. And because he's not selling the CC, losing the Dozer is not the biggest blow here. But losing that tech kind of is. Because it could have done a lot more damage than it did. In fact, Shea micro this very well. And made sure that this got denied. And didn't lose a single thing for it. Whereas Shea, uh, whereas Size did. Got Humvee on the right hand side. Finding this tunnel network. So again, just like the previous game. Where Size was denying the map presence of Shea very very well we see the exact same thing happening in this match where Shea is being absolutely ruthless and making sure there are no tunnels around all nice all clean all safe and uh, he might actually occupy this building yes he does we've got a little guy walking here there we go and that's always a very good thing to have so these bunkers are going to give excellent vision so uh, Shea will be able to see all this area and he still has command center so he has access to the radar so he can see a nice orange blip coming down in and uh, he can stop it in time, whatever it is. Meanwhile, we see Big Size trying to go for the middle. A bit more securing the middle there. We've got loads of techs. And actually, ooh, look at this. We see quads. Look at all the tracks. Look how many units uh, Size has been pumping out. And, oh, actually, fully going for quads, not going for techs. That is not something you see very often. Maybe, just maybe, Size is a bit worried that the Air Force General, that is Shea, might come with Comanche or Raptors or something. So he's saying, hey, you know what? Let me just go safe. Let me go quads. But quads versus Humvees is just a little bit more difficult to do. In fact, let's see. Shane now going back. He's got one, two, three, four Humvees and an Ambo. Five Humvees. Look at that. Loads of missile defenders. And we see a firebase going up on the right-hand side here. And uh, basically, it's all about timing. At which point does Shea decide to go for the attack? At which point does Size decide to go and build a supply stash and try and take some money in the middle? And all this timing makes a difference. And Size, there we go. He's going for the oil capture. This is something that uh, Shea now knows. He sees it because of this uh, bunker here. He can see the rebel. And if he clicks it, you can see there's the capture upgrade. So he knows that on the right-hand side, this oil has been taken by Size. He might decide to go for a push on the right hand side now just to make sure this oil gets destroyed and immediately demo trap being thrown down but look at all the spy drones here maybe that is another advantage of not selling that cc to, uh, just to kind of make sure that you can reveal areas in case there are demo traps because you guys all saw what happened to poor size in that match oh my god losing all those humvees to a demo trap it can be so dangerous so oil capture denied here by shea but this oil capture went through and demo trap is revealed Let's see, we've got three Humvees here. We've got tow missile, very nice to see. We've got an Ambo, very nice to see. Loads of missile troopers here as well. Populating these Humvees, very nice. And uh, I'm wondering, where is the strat? Oh, for a second we saw it here. And he was like, nah, that's not a good spot. And actually, very good timing there as a tech was about to enter. And if he did decide to go for that strat, it probably could have had the scaffold destroyed. We see uh, destruction happening here on the supply center. Terratech being super successful by size, taking out the building, no problem, no hassle, but we do actually see commitment here to a strategy center. And wait, no we don't, no we don't. First supply center, first supply center, okay. Uh, meanwhile, we have another worker on the left-hand side here, but like I said, there is radar for Shea, and he has the vision, so he probably spots this worker, not a problem. And uh, Size still does not have the middle. What is the plan here for Size? He's going the palace route, he's got 6% on the palace, just started it. And the uh, supply center is up. I expect to see a strat center very soon here for Shea. He's got the money. He's got the motivation. And uh, no, we got another firebase. Mm. 
I would like to see the aggression, man. At this point, I don't know if fire bases are the way to go. Yes, they will stop terror attacks, but, you know, this is slowing down your, your potential of advancing. Got one, two, three, four, five, six rocking Humvees here that are ready to go, ready to unleash some evil onto thine enemies. And they don't have search and destroy, and they really, really crave it. Look at them. Look at them. They're like... What, what, what the hell was that? Ooh. Ooh, that was close. But yeah, the Humvees, you can see the drivers, they're holding signs, protesting, saying, we want search and destroy, and we want it now. Give us search and destroy. And it's just not happening. It's just not happening. We've got Firebase... And there's not enough money to now put down a search and destroy. But search and destroy or no search and destroy, Shay is going for the assault. We've got an RPG going all the way down here, probably doing some scouting. The worker might actually survive this and manage to sneak into this corner here. But Shay probably will realize what's going on. We've got a bunch of demo traps here and the palace on 70%. I'm sure uh, Shay sees this and he needs to take this worker out. Because if this palace goes up, then he can get the demo upgrade. The dreaded demo upgrade, which makes bikes so much stronger. He's got the scout drones. He sees there's a demo trap. And very calmly, but surely, moves forward. And right now, almost 90% on the palace. And Humvee might just get taken out here. Oh, what a waste. And we actually have a push happening here on the left side here from Size. Size forcing... Uh, Shay's hand here forcing a situation to happen. He has these fire bases on this side So Sai says oh screw it. I'll just attack from the other side There are Humvees here, but again no search and destroy So this is gonna be a bit difficult to micro and one full V going down here That's actually a big blow and what do you have? What else do you got? You got one missile defender back here There needs to be a barracks He might need to call these Humvees back and we see a terror tech that got denied last second He prevented the palace from being constructed too, but oh man this situation is so insane there's only two quads left, but this guy does have scrap. He's dangerous. We got the laser lock coming through here and very nicely cleaned up by Shea. How many Shinnoks does he have? He has enough so he can continue mining. Oh my god. He also has enough cash. Build that search and destroy, please. Build the search and destroy. Oh my god, man. Please build the search and destroy. And we got these Humvees. Oh my god. They actually managed to do some good damage here. It looks like we might actually see this go to a 4 4 situation. Dodging the terror tech, very nice, and this now is going to get destroyed. No more supply collection on the top left for Mr. Size. Oh my god, what a game. What a game indeed. And we see a barracks. Still no search and destroy, man. Your air force, you get carpet bomb. You get search and destroy. It's so worth it to get it. And a few techs being a bit dangerous. But because Shay managed to deny the palace. Here we go, GG from Size, And it's 4-4, boys. Oh my god, it's 4-4! Four, 4-4, four. Four, four, best of nine, and it's gonna come down to the last match! Unbelievable. Unbelievable! What a game. Such plays. I really have to say props there to Shea in that last minute of the match. Keeping his cool, taking out that big quad army from size, and at the same time preventing that palace from going up. Such an important structure because immediately uh, size could queue a few rocket buggies and or a Jarman. And most importantly, if, this, if the palace survives long enough, he can get the suicide upgrade, which is also known as the demo upgrade. And with that, you can get demo rebel ambush that is very strong. And also demo bikes become a lot more dangerous because demo bikes, when they normally blow up, they, uh, they don't actually do splash damage. But with the demo upgrade, they actually do. So that is very important. Look at the units destroyed here. This is what happens when a USA reigns supreme in the mid game. You get high units destroyed, low units lost, because if they lose a lot of units, then it's going to be over. So, unbelievable, boys. Unbelievable. We are down to the last match. Because I like Sand Scorpion. Shay says, yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay, Sand Scorpion. It is on the list. Okay. All right. Nuke mirror on Sand Scorpion. Oh, I'm going to love me some of this. This is going to be great. And we're not going to have slow load anymore. So, guys, the moment it starts, it starts. All right. So, you better get your snacks ready right now, now, now. Because off we go. Nuke mirror. Final match in his best of nine in the World Series 2020. It's going to be a 5-4. The question is, for whom? Is it going to be Shea? Or is it going to be size? So, we got size here in the nuke as orange against another nuke in this nuke mirror. That is Shea in the blue. Sand Scorpion, revised by Jundi. Very nice. So, for those of you who don't know this map, it is basically Sand Serpent with a little twist here where we got speed heart yes the speed is a bit better and uh, always nice for the final match as well so we got a bit of uh, extra cash piles here we've got uh, there used to be cash piles here they've been uh, now removed the cash piles are here which makes a bit more sense there used to be cash piles here 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 so you know the map has basically been balanced a bit because why is it that this guy used to get cash piles but not over here uh, meanwhile for the rest the left side is pretty much left the same 
and uh, I think some some ground has been flattened over here to make it a little easier to build and to match the other side and same going here so Sand Scorpion is a very nice map indeed I love this map for China because there is a lot of oil look there's oil here one two three four five so five oils in total you got one in your base one sort of on the edge of your base and then one here in the middle so you might see players going for those oils and there's also a lot of money but the money's kind of far but it is sort of defendable right you sort of have these choke points you put a bunker here with some tank hunters you're probably somewhat safe right but there are one two three ways into each player's base so you're not going to choose to bunker off all of them and here we go shay getting the red uh, the red guard veterancy upgrade uh, as a general pr uh, promotion and let's see if he's going to go for the oil. This guy's in position. He's ready to go. And he sent Red Guard up here to try and take this oil. And he's got uh, another Red Guard over here to try and take this oil. Capture upgrade has come through. And immediately Battlemaster coming out here from size. He wants to deny potential oil captures. And uh, actually we see something very different, boys and girls. We see an all-in helix attack from big size now for those of you worried that maybe shay is listening there is a three minute stream delay so by the time this puppy is ready and in shay's base that is when the uh you guys will actually be hearing me say this and experience this so this will be very very interesting we actually got a helix out here from shay as well there is no war factory out though so that will be actually devastating for mr shay because when this helix comes in and you don't have any gatling tanks to support yourself just a couple tank hunters it's going to be a problem unless you do a helix versus helix there is a gatling tank already en route and this red guard is low health but does manage to get the oil capture we got oil capture coming in here as well so we're going to have two oils for Shay. Oh, boys, you need a war factory building right now, but quite late indeed. The helix of Shay now might scout this helix from size. We're going to have a licks off, guys. We're going to have a licks off. Second war factory being built, quite exposed here. Size should be able to take this out. And this Gatling cannon being very annoying here. Already got a few shots off. And we got a licks off. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. And this dozer, actually, because it's in the scaffold, is still alive. And the war factory going up very well defended here by mr shay this gatling cannon really being a problem but if you think about it shay has the oil here and has the oil there so he is actually making good bucks good income and it's going to be quite dangerous to engage this gatling tank indeed it's kind of uh, got a bit of damage taken here we've got two gat tanks and just like that shay manages to hang on but here comes the licks on the left hand side shay paying attention sending his gatling tank to the left oh my god what a match already this has been three minutes, and I'm like going crazy, guys. Look at these guys. Fast prop as well, because Shea is economically he uh, ahead. He can do it. We got no capture upgrade from size yet, but he's sending out the red guard. He's planning to do it. And um, the Licks now engaging here on this. We got the Gat Tank here now being exposed. Big size can take it out. But Sai is actually not taking it out. This Gat Tank is literally on search and destroy mode. Trying to find his licks. Trying to take it out. Oh my god. The, the, the prop actually 63%. And two war factories up for Shea. Lots of Gats here. And this is a bit dangerous from Sai's to do. And the licks managing not to go low HP there. And does manage to take out three um, of those very lethal Gatling tanks. So very well played there by Shea. Good micro. And it was a risky move. And actually, look at this. This Gat tank that was on the chase got a very low health here. This guy has to go home and repair. But mission accomplished. He managed to take out the Gats over here of Shea. Shea now has his dozer in a bit under attack. Might get taken out, but a Gatling tank does very little damage. And we have uh, Licks here from Shea. And will this dozer in fact go down? No, it probably won't. We've got a Gatling tank sneaking in from the side here. We've got a Lix here from Shay. I think Shay's uh, original Lix got taken out. It probably went up here. And uh, all these Gats from size being very lethal. Engaging the Dozer here. Dozer's low health, but still alive. And we've got one Gat tank here. Evac happening. Trying to get the Horde bonus. Good call. It's worth it, guys. Get that Horde bonus. It's always worth it. And right now, trying to do some harassment in the supply line. But this Lix, no problem, will take out a single Gat. These are not vetted Gats. They will do good damage, but not enough to really scare the Licks. We got all these Gat tanks around the map. The map control of size is pretty good here. The oil has been destroyed on this side, and the oil has been captured by size. So right now, the economy is spot on the same for both players, but Shea does have a prop. 
does um, size have as well? Yes, he does. We've got one Overlord and a load of Lixis. Look at that. And we got one ECM out as well. This is a very de uh, dangerous army. We don't see the Speaker Tower upgrade just yet, but he's just sending in the army now. We got a Red Guard up here. I could actually capture the oil. Got a Lotus coming in here from Mr. Shea. Right? Yeah, that's Shea Lotus. Might disable the Dragon Tank, actually. And a Helix is en route, trying to deal with the situation. And let's see, we got a Lotus out from size as well, as well as an ECM here and an Overlord. And the shutdown. Oh my god, the shutdown. You might want to shut this guy down one more time, man. You might want to shut him down one more time. And uh, Lotus. Oh, that was a misclick. Lotus is going to the Dragon Tank. But here is the Bunker Licks. Will it take out the Dragon Tank in time? And yes, it does. Here comes a very nasty Gatling tank on the side. And Shea slowly marching forth with his army. Got one, two, three Helixes coming in here. Two Bunker Licks on a speaker tower. Oh, boys, this is going to be very dangerous indeed. And what is Shea going to do? He's only got one Gat tank here. We don't have a chain gun upgrade. And we've got a Dragon tank as well. So we just keep seeing the aggression from Sai. Sai's being absolutely insanely aggressive here. We don't see the speaker tower upgrade yet from Shea. Would be nice to see. And this Dragon Tank not having optimal position here. Should go a little closer to the oil. And then the Flame Wall would deal a bit more damage. But Dragon Tank gets taken out nonetheless. And uh, it's all about those few moments of micro. We're going to see these armies engage. We're going to see this army versus this army. We're going to see the Helixes coming in from su uh, for support of both players. We're going to see these kind of things. And that's gonna, what's going to make the difference. We've got a Dozer. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, he's got a CC at least. But uh, those are kind of suiciding here. Um, I don't know if that was really worth it. Because now the gap is spun up. But yeah, it takes out a gap. And uh, oil's still alive. But meanwhile, it's actually Size who right now has the economic advantage with having two oils. As opposed to Shea only having one oil. I see in the chat people saying, Size engaging three gat tanks with a helix. What the hell? Yeah, that actually uh, did work out for him. What do you know? <laughs> It's size, man. It's size. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. But here we go. We've got Shea engaging with a big army. And right now, in the beginning of the match, this is still safe to do. There is no carpet bomb for either player. So just marching in with your army. You don't have that much to worry about. We've got Speaker Tower upgrade here for Shea kicking in. Always nice to see. And the command center now being built on the left-hand side. And here we go. The oil now being destroyed for Mr. Size. Big size. Going to have that oil destroyed. There's only one oil left here. And uh, seeing how he does have a licks here, Mr. Shea has a licks. He could go and take out that oil. We see the disable here from the ECM on a battle master. Not the biggest losses. Uh, we don't see the isotope stability upgrade. So when these guys die, they will leave an explosion behind. Uh, I can't actually check that on the Overlord because it doesn't show the picture. And I don't think uh, there are any battle masters out from Shea. We have a big ECM party here. Uh, the question is just where are the licks? Here comes a Lix from Shea. There is just one Gatling tank here. One Gatling tank. Oh, Gatling tank gets taken out. Oh my god. There are loads of Gats coming in here from Shea. Oh my god, look at the engagement here. How many Lix is going down? We've got one Lix going down here for size. And another, oh, look at this. There's a Gat tank on the side. Shea realizing last second and will he take it out? Yes, he does. And there's still a big army here of Shea alive. And the speaker tower will keep healing. They heal very fast, guys. This is four second, uh, I mean, 4% of health per second. So in 25 seconds, every unit is fully healed from near death. So speaker towers help a lot. Got a lot of ECMs out. And we've got, oh, another engagement here. And the bunker licks going down. Another licks going down here. Is this the GG? Are we gonna see Shea passing to the next round? GG's, well played says size, you deserve it. Shea saying GG's. And there we go. Unbelievable, Shea eliminating big size from the World Series 2020. And you saw it here. Unbelievable, very strong nuke mirror indeed. Lots of action, lots of playing, just under 10 minutes. Congratulations to Shea for beating the almighty big size in this best of nine. It was not easy, but he came, he saw, he conquered, and he eliminated big size from the World Series. Unbelievable. Shea, a rising star, making a name for himself, passing on to the next round. Congratulations. And look at that, Shea collecting more money. In the very beginning, he had those oils and he made it. Unbelievable. Very well played there by Shea. Also very well played by Size.
but Shay just getting that tiny edge over taking out those helixes. He had enough gats to support his army. Helix is going down. Size missing just a few gats here and there. As a result, Shay could sweep in with his helixes and clean up them overlords. Unbelievable. What a match. What a match indeed. Very well played, guys. Unbelievable. I am still in awe. The chat is going wild. <laughs> Let's just look at that score once again. Shea 5, big size 4. GG's guys. You both played very well. Excellent stuff. I'm asking if they want to do a voice interview. Shay generally doesn't really um, do these things, and I don't think Size is in the mood for it either. And uh, I think they might just go offline. But I just want to go back in and see that economic advantage. That economic advantage that got Shay the win. Those few oils in the beginning there. It was risky trying to capture all those oils. If the enemy comes with GAT tanks and prevents the oil capture, then you've spent all that money trying to take the oils when you could have spent it on building units. Let's have a quick look, right? Last replay. Here we go. Let's see them oil caps. Sending out loads of troops with two barracks. That is what did it. Size went for a war factory and Shay got so lucky here when that Lix came to attack. Let's fast forward. We've got the oils coming through here. Look at that. Oil taken, oil taken, oil taken. Three oils in the very beginning. And this has to be one of the most game-defining moments when the dozer was stuck in the scaffold and Size couldn't actually kill it. Look at that. Look how close the missiles came but didn't quite manage. And then he literally defended his dozer with his own helix. What a close game indeed. If this dozer went down and he only had one war factory, that would have been the GG, I have to say. Insane, absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna fast forward a bit and uh, see when uh, Size actually got his oils. And then I'm gonna quit so we can see the economic advantage. So oil capping here and here. There we go. Let's now quit and look at that economic advantage. And look at that, already having almost 4K, 4,000 cash more so early in the game. That 4,000, that is why you could see a fast prop. That is why you could see a fast overlord. And even when Size captured his oils, he, uh, Shea still had the advantage for a while. So excellent play there. Very well done. GG's says Size. Size is out. See you, zero hour. GG's. Unbelievable, what a match, I have to say. That was so incredibly close. In a way, it's a pity to see Size leave this tournament um, so early on, but definitely well-deserved. Well-deserved. Excellent games from both of you. And that is gonna do it for today's stream. Oh my god. These matches were absolutely amazing. I really enjoy them. I hope you guys enjoy them too. I mean, if you don't like these matches, if you go, nah, not exactly quality zero hour content, then what the hell is? Honestly, these were great. These were absolutely great. And uh, I have to say a big thank you to Size as well for being a good sport, for keeping it, you know, very nice and kind and saying, okay, GG's, good luck in the next rounds. Uh, that is not easy to say in those situations. So I want to see some thumbs up in the chat for uh, Mr. Big Size, who uh, definitely was a good sport about it. And uh, yeah, we are actually gonna see Mr. Shea pass on to the next round. That's gonna be it for this, guy, uh, for this stream, guys. If you want more information on the Game Replays World Series, then I really do suggest that you check that link in the video description. You can find out more about the World Series, hosted very nicely by Game Replays. It's got a $2,000 prize pool. And if you want to um, have a chat with all the people there, then go there, go to the forums, say hi. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's great, man, it's great. They're responsible for these awesome matches you've enjoyed today. So yes, I wanna say a big thank you to Game Replays for doing all this stuff. That is it, boys. I am off. 
good night and see ya.